Call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well, Shalom and salutation to the hopeful elect that I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. All right, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice. Shalom to those brothers. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. Mr. Brother Yarmai from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. All right, coming to you with another lesson concerning some uh, funny business, but concerning some serious business and, 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 and a fake booster. All right, I was watching the video that a brother had posted in the group. It was off that page, um, Spiritual Warfare, to my knowledge. But it was basically a brother clipping a document of Edomites offering themselves, Edomites suffering, the, the, not even poverty, but losing their jobs, all right, them having drug addictions. Hey, and we all smiles towards this shit. Because if you're killing yourself in your kingdom, because what we understand, what you people, what you Israelites know today is reality, is, and when I say you Israelites, I'm talking about you blacks, Latinos, and you Native Americans. All right. And, and also our seed is scattered abroad through the four corners of the earth. So we have people that go back to our bloodline on their father's side who look like the other nations. But that's neither here nor right now. But you Israelites, the reality, this hell that y'all are seeing right now is the so-called white man's heaven. All right. And this is his kingdom. And if in his kingdom he shrunk out on drugs, uh, he's dying. He's not even fruitful. He's not even multiplying. He's not having babies. All right. He's, he's killing himself. The black man, the Latino man, the Native American man, and, and, and the men of the other nations, the heathens that don't even matter. All right. And walking down the street with his woman, slapping on the ass because he, he can't do nothing with her. All right. If you see these things in his kingdom, man. Hey, man, this man is going down. All right? And uh, it's a beautiful thing. And his brother had posted this scripture. All right? I'm going to bring out this and a few more, man, to just glory on this, man. All right? This is a uh, brother had posted this scripture when he had sent the video because it's perfect. All right? This is uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7. There be nine things which my which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And we're seeing the fall, we're seeing the decline of our oppressor, of the man who raped us, of the man who robbed us, of the man who did every atrocity in his book towards you. Alright? This man is the reason that you're in the ghettos. This is the reason that your mothers and daughters are on crack. And on drugs. This man is the reason that you are, you are young men are blowing each other's heads off. Alright. This man puts guns in your community. He puts dopes in your community. He de deprives you of jobs. He pay off niggas to glorify that bullshit. Coon. He puts homosexuality in your community. This man is the, the, the devil of devils man. Every problem you ever had in life. It was because the Most High put this man in charge to be our whooping stick and our punishment, man. And to see him go down is a great glory, man. It's a great glory. And he's going to be, he's going down hard. Matter of fact, this is Sirach 10 and uh, 30. The poor man is honored for his skill. And the rich man is honored for his riches. All right? Hey, because hey, even in Jake's poverty, man, we still honored for being the salt of the earth. All right, we built a whole economy through our slavery. We built that culture, that music, that fighting, the, the, the any industry, man. We built that, man. All right, and said the rich man is honored for his riches. All right, because this is the only reason the so-called white man even got a steam is because of his his wealth. All right, which he got by the sword. All right, and the Lord gave him that blessing. But I'm but but this is the main point, and that's you know. This is 31. He that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? So if we even, just like us, take Jake, for example. We glowing even in our poverty. So how much more would the Most High give us the earth? All right. It says, he that is dishonorable in riches, 
how much more in poverty. Hey man, this when this white man is going down, man. Hey look, he's being seen as the scum of the earth, man. So when he's in our heaven, our kingdom, when he's in the kingdom of heaven, that's gonna be his hell, man. And he's not gonna be honored, man. And we're seeing the beginning of that, man. We're seeing the beginning of the poverty of the so-called white man. Because this is his debt. All right? So when you talk about slavery, rape, robbery, and murder, and all the atrocities you committed against us, hey, the first thing one of them would say is, hey, that's in the past. Good. Because it is. All right? But it's in the present as well. But hey, since it's in the past, this is Ecclesiastes 3. All right? In verse... Um, 15, it said, that which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And how it requires that which is past. The most high requires all that. All right? That's why we even went to slavery. Hey, because the most high required the transgressions of our forefathers departing from him. All right? But now he's going to give us this kingdom. He's taking the kingdom away from you at a rapid rate. All right? And he's putting you in poverty. He's putting in you that lower state, man. All right? He's putting you in hell. He's reversing the hell, man. And it's a beautiful thing, man. The Most High is not mocked. All right? Matter of fact, let me get that. <laughs> let me get that. It's in Galatians. I think it's about the sixth chapter. Come. This is Galatians 6 and 7. Do not be deceived, your how is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. And he that soweth to the spirit shall of the, the spirit reap everlasting life. And that's why us doing this work, man. We sow into our spirit, man, because we want to reach the everlasting life. And that first round draft pick, all right, so to speak, to the kingdom. But the point was, a hey, be not deceived, your house not mocked, for whatsoever a man sow it, that shall he also reap, man. These people sold nothing but sorrow, man. Depression, oppression, suppression of us, our culture, our heritage. The things that the Most High gave us. This man sold nothing to us but wickedness, evil, and atrocities, man. And they're falling back on him, man. And it's a beautiful sight to see this man going down like this, man. It's beautiful, man. Matter of fact, real quick. This is Deuteronomy 30 and verse 7. It says, And Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them which persecuted thee. Salaki, and on them which hate thee and which persecuted thee. Who, who, who are those that hate us? All other nations, but predominantly Esau. It clearly tells you in the scripture. Matter of fact, let me just get it. Let me just get it, man. Because we ain't doing nothing but reading the Bible. And they call us a supremacist group, a hate group. And all we doing is reading the Bible. All right? That's why in the slave days, all right, they, they taught us Christianity. But we were murdered for reading the Bible. All right? Because this is about us. All right? On the right-hand side. These promises were promised to us. This is, uh, so he said he was going to put the curses on them that hate us. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5. It says, because thou hast, and it's talking about Esau, when you read, uh, you can start at 1, alright, but I'm going to get to the point. Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and in the time that their iniquity had an end. Alright, so Esau is the one that hate us. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, Yahweh, I will prepare thee to blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And this man ain't hated our blood. He's been breaking our backs with whips, sticks, bricks, using our babies for alligator bait, burning us in the past. And we just read it. The Most High required that which is past. He put bogus charges on you. Throw your ass in prison forever, man. 
He, you know how many Israelites Esau did that to? You know how many households this man has broke up? You know how many Israelites this man has pimped up and hold down through his wicked snares, his nets, his system, his unrighteous decrees? Man, this man is paying for that, man. And he's paying for it with poverty. And he's looking sick. And he's looking ugly. And he's looking fucking disgusting, man. And the whole world seeing him for the fucking devil that he is, man. And that's a beautiful, beautiful sight, man. And we looking at the downfall of our enemy. So all you motherfuckers with y'all sitting on y'all hands and being losers. To hell to you, man. I'm talking about them half-ass Israelites. Niggas, this whole ministry about talking shit to us. And then they, and then every, every, we looking at the downfall of our enemy right now, man. This should be the biggest fate boost in the world. And even for the brothers this week in the fate, man, this should be the biggest fate boost in the world, man. The white man is on crack. Opioids. He fucked. He finished, man. Hey, man, this could be a fate booster, man. Hey, but this is just funny as hell to me, man. I mean. Hey, I know, hey, rather, I'm a man of the Lord or not. I know the prophecy is going to be fulfilled. I know that. You know, so hopefully I am a man of the Lord. And the men that, and my elders, and my apostles, and my teachers, and, and the brothers who I do this labor with, man. I hope we, we all are, 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 are that number. All right? You know, so, hey. Hey, get on board, man. Hey, this man is going down. It's a beautiful sight. But with that being said, call aloud. Yeah, how about Shimmy? How about Shai? Bar Shimmy? Kakadash? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Hey, this man is done. Keep pushing. Shalom.